Hey y'all, it's your girl Mo, and welcome to Mo's Mistake Boutique YouTube channel. This message is to help guide you in the first six months of 2024. So this is a 2024 mini tarot scope reading, and welcome. I am so glad you are here to join me. This message is going to be for your air sign placements anywhere in your birth chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, south node, first house, second house, wherever it resonates for you, this message is for you. If you're drawn to this message, it is for you. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the overall message for the first six months of 2024. And that message is the page of pentacles or the page of crystals. You are going to be learning new things, researching new things. You're going to be getting a lot of ideas and this is going to be a crucial time for you to be disciplined with these ideas as you create new avenues in your life. If we go ahead and take a look at January 2024, we have the lovers with the ten of swords and the four of wands in reverse. You are going to be taking some time in January to look at the things that just aren't feeling right for you. There could have been some form of betrayal or distrust or dishonesty that occurred during this time that um, leaves a relationship or a situation or an environment feeling unsafe and dis unharmonized, disharmonized, however you say it. Anyways, moving into February 2024, you are going to be looking at the situation that occurred in January as a situation that you need to walk away from or you are struggling to walk away from this situation. You could be leaving a third party if this is a relationship um, because a new offer, new love interest comes in. Or you could be leaving a job because a better offer came in. Spirit is also asking you to be careful and how quickly you move in these situations. Now is not a good time to move um, rapidly. It's best to slow down and take your time because when you move into um, March, you have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So in March, you are lacking the discipline you need. You are putting aside your ideas or you are feeling stuck, like you don't have enough um, stamina or creative juice to get you flowing or keep you going. You do have the Ace of Cups in the upright with the King of Pentacles in the reverse and the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Somebody may be opening up to you about their financial struggles in March. And this is what causes you to shut down. It's like, um, or you stop um, researching or creating new ideas because this idea that you created um, brings you some kind of financial growth that you're just not seeing it yet in March. <clears throat> Provide me more clarity with the messages in March. Um, your answers that you may be seeking in March may not be seen until May. There are some kind of, there is some kind of rapid movement during this time. 
new ideas are flowing in, but you are being asked to keep them to yourself. Not to be so open or to be careful with who you share these ideas with. Moving into April, you have the Seven of Swords in the upright, clarified with the Four of Cups in the reverse, the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, and the World card. Again, you are needing to just spend some time resting. There is some need for action, but it's cautious action. You don't need to go in guns blazing, but you need to... Um, Go in with precaution. It's almost like if you were to go into battle, you're aware that the your ops, your opposing people are out to get you. So you proceed because you still you still need to defend yourself. So you proceed, but you're proce you're proceeding with caution in the situation because you are needing to also protect yourself. So you are taking January, February, March to in parts of April, if not all of April, to protect your energy. Because moving into May of 2024, you are the Queen of Swords with strength, with the strength card. So you are taking the time to not only understand your emotions, but set boundaries regarding your emotions and sticking to these boundaries you're being c clear with others what this looks like and this is causing or creating a balance in your life three of wands is in the reverse so you are taking some time to wait or you're being called to have patience while you wait for your ships to come in and the eight of pentacles usually calls to working hard but you're in the state of 2024 where you're slowing down you're taking time to rest you're finding balance between work and home or you're finding balance between your emotions and the ability to communicate these emotions with others or when you communicate these emotions with others in june you have the page of pentacles with the Three of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. So this is June. This is summer. This is when your passion is reignited. You're entering Leo season. You could be connected to the Leo um, or have strong Leo presence in your birth chart. But June is going to be a great time for you to take all the thoughts and creative ideas that were not organized, not in conjunction to where you were trying to align or trying to go the direction you're trying to get to. And so all your evaluation of this is starting to open up in June and cause for open networks and open um, collaborations the work you did in May of setting those boundaries is going to open up the door for you to have clear, um, concise communication with people. And it's going to allow for your passions and your drive to be noticed by others. I'm going to end your reading there and read your messages from the universe. Your first message is true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. When I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perception so that I can see what is of the highest good. I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. 
The key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. I hope those messages from the universe help clarify or help guide you in the direction or path you are seeking. I hope this message brought clarity, honesty, peace, patience, love, and perspective to your day-to-day -day life. And I hope it helps you on your journey. With peace, love, and many blessings, have a blessed day.